Hi, I'm here to see... Oh, Harry. Nice to meet you, Harry. Why don't you just tell us a bit about yourself? My name is Harold. Harry, as a hobby, I really like magic. This is me, at a job interview I applied for as Harry Potter. But how did I get here? Harry Potter didn't sit his final exams, because he was too busy off camping, hunting horcruxes. And yet, he still got a job as a wizard's policeman. Now, I am not Harry Potter, despite what the glasses may suggest, but I am a full-time content creator. And to a lot of people, that's the exact same thing as just not having a job. So I've decided to apply for a hundred jobs using Harry Potter's CV. So first things first, I need to write my CV name. Now I can't just call myself Harry Potter because that's too on the nose, that's too obvious when I apply for jobs. But I can call myself Harold. And for a surname, we're gonna go for Stokes. And why? Well, because Stoke City are the Potters. So Harold Stokes, becomes Harry Potter, hiding in plain sight. Born July 31st, 1999. I can pass for 24, right? Qualifications, none. That sounds bad. I was too busy defeating the Dark Lord. That sounds better. Technically, he did get his OWLs in his fifth year, so I suppose it's not none. Okay, I actually want some people to maybe give me an interview, so let's just put mitigating circumstances. Because that's what people are given if they miss their exams because they're ill or something like that. Key skills. Parcel mouth. Let's go bilingual. Adept at flying. Uh, we'll say good at sports. Survived the killing curse multiple times. How do we make that sound good on a CV? Survival skills. Okay, experience. The younger seeker to play for Gryffindor a hundred years will say, um, how do we make that sound passable for a muggle job? Younger seeker to play for Gryffindor in 100 years. Let's make these bullet points. Defeated a cave troll at just 11 years old. You know, it was fully grown. That is important. Um, saved a young girl from being murdered by a haunted diary. Won the Triwizard Tournament at just 15 years old. Founder and leader of Dumbledore's army. And of course, defeated the darkest wizard of all time. Now this doesn't look exactly like a CV, so we might need some help formatting it a little bit. Okay, so I found a nice little template to make a CV look a bit more like a CV and less like terrible attempts at writing a life story for a fictional character. And I found this, it looks clean, it looks simple. You can put not a lot of information on there and it still looks reasonably professional. It also gave us the opportunity to put in a little profile. So I've added, despite a difficult childhood, I proved myself to be a high achiever while I was still young. I was the youngest person in my school to make the sports team, that we haven't had to say Quidditch. Started a very popular extracurricular self-defense club, which is a nicer way of saying the DA, which raised an army of child soldiers, and showed, despite my tough upbringing, that I was a quick thinker, a problem solver, and a survivor against the odds. I guess let's start applying for jobs. Okay, first things first, we've got to apply to the police. Not the band. Yep, amazing. 40 hours a week, police officer. Okay, the application process was really long and had unnecessary questions like, do you have any tattoos? So we're just gonna send an email to careers at metpolice.co.uk. Hi there. I'm looking for my first job. Please let me know if I'd fit any available positions. Thanks, Harold. Almost put Brett then and attach the CV. Sent. Job application one of 100 submitted. Okay, we've now signed up for Indeed, which is a job searching website. So we've put our CV on there. Let's see what jobs we can find. What would Harry be good at? Magician. Okay, apparently a magician is like a sous chef. So let's apply. Enter a past job that shows relevant experience. I was the cook for the Dursleys for 10 years. Here we go, Photoshop magician. Just take a look at my thumbnails. I definitely would be good for that. How would you rate yours Photoshop skills? One to 10, 10 being the highest. 10, I'm a Gryffindor, I am confident. Grab your most recent experience with editing e-commerce styled photos using Photoshop. I defeated the Dark Lord. Is it relevant? No, am I the chosen one? Yes. Okay, I feel like we could be an office and facilities manager. We basically managed Hogwarts for years. Dumbledore didn't do anything about the Chamber of Secrets, but Harold Stokes did. Job title, I was a plumbing inspector at Hogwarts Chamber 
society. Okay, paralegal or police station representative. I feel like that's a good rung on the ladder to becoming a police officer in the wizarding world. So how many paralegal experiences do you have? Um, technically none, but I have spent time in a courtroom when I had that hearing. So let's let's just say one year. Um, when can I interview? Anytime, right away, always. Always. Do you have the right to work in the UK? Yes. Do you have any criminal convictions? I did murder Professor Quirrell when I was 11. Although technically I feel like actually Voldemort killed him. I just was the conduit by touching his face and making him melt, but I was not prosecuted, and also was found not guilty in my hearing in fifth year, so no criminal convictions. Office manager, apply. Bar manager, apply. Content designer, martial arts instructor, technician, sales rep, CNC Turner, I don't know what that is. Apply, 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 apply. Trade compliance specialist, apply. Quality engineer, children's home manager, teacher, content writer, lettings manager, apply. Activities manager, associate dentist just like the Grangers. Apply. Practice accountant. So you don't even have to do it, you just practice. Apply. Boat builder. Telesales agent. Door-to-door -door salesperson. Editor for children's books. Well, that feels perfect for the character from a children's book. Apply. Well, now we wait. A few days have passed and we've had some responses to our job applications. Things don't look good. Unfortunately, we regret to inform we're sorry your to after careful we have gone on this occasion. I'm sorry. We went with another your application. Thank you. Didn't you. Have Please keep an eye didn't out. Have the we regret to inform you that your application was not successful. But you were unsuccessful? Obviously. Perhaps Harold Stokes' CV was too magical. Considering so much of the hiring process is automated these days, I'm surprised that not one application in a hundred slipped through. But I do have a trick up my sleeve, so to speak. You see, there are a bunch of services out there dedicated to writing people's CVs for them. Some of these services even go as far as to give you a 60-day job interview guarantee. And this website is one such service, which apparently boasts JK Rowling's biggest fan as one of their CV writers. So if anyone can get Harold Stokes, aka Harry Potter, a job, I think it might be her. And they offer CV writing for as little as £35, which includes a one-on-one -on -one consultation with one of their experts. You best believe Harold Stokes needs one of those. So let's see if the experts can help Harry Potter get a job. The um, purpose of the call is really for, for us to get to know each other and for me to understand what it is that you're looking to do with your CV. So what's your current situation? How can I help? I've not really ever um, worked. I, I sort of had quite a rough time through school. I'm assuming you left school maybe a bit early and then you've been sorting yourself out since then? Yeah. Um, so my, my parents were killed when I was very, very young. The, the sort of big group, let's say, wanted to uh, like finish the job. Um, so quite often I was taken from school for like safety reasons and things like that. So I didn't I didn't finish school. I was sort of in and out when I was there. Like I loved it. Like my best friends were there and stuff. But um, yeah, oftentimes I would like miss exam periods. All exams have been cancelled. I've been fortunate that my parents left me quite a lot of money when they passed. So I've not had to work. Well done for getting through that. You you can think of this as sort of a a phoenix moment, um, okay. as I would call it. As in, you are rising from the ashes of the past, and twenty twenty four is your year to to find yourself. So because you've got some volunteering on your CV, tell me about that. Yep. So um, I spent some time with um with the the lady across the road, um, sort of helping her with um shopping cleaning cooking things like that and we had like a, a friend of mine set up a sort of like an activist group um and we did some work on like uh, working conditions for staff and like um unpaid labor issues uh we organized it was really cool actually we organized like a like a knit-a-thon where we'd knit a bunch of like hats and scarves and stuff to raise money for um for sort of underpaid workers in sort of um sort of worse situations than we were in um i was thinking of a snake metaphor then i was thinking don't do it oh my gosh do it please <laughs> shedding your skin as we go into the new year <laughs> love that oh my goodness what a nice lady, which made me feel guilty that this whole thing was just a joke, but I needed her to write me a more compelling CV, and she definitely didn't disappoint. 
So a few days passed and I got the new CV from the professional CV writer. And not only was she the loveliest person in the world, but also very good at her job. Like, I didn't give her much to go on and she has put together a very good CV. I mean, all the stuff with Mrs. Fig, they've turned into a set of skills that I could use in the workplace. As well as turning being forced into being involved with SPEW to help the house elves around Hogwarts into something that sounds like it's full of transferable skills from a very hireable individual. In skills, we've got conflict resolution, also known as defeating the Dark Lord, task coordination, definitely coordinated those Triwizard tasks very well. Overall, phenomenal sounding CV. So the next step is to apply for a hundred more jobs and see if we get more interest. So after 200 job applications and multiple versions of this CV, it finally worked. I got myself a job interview. Or Harry Potter, a job interview. So I'm ready for my interview, as you can see. I don't often wear a suit, but I'm about to head out and I was thinking, how how can I record this interview without just walking in like this and it being obvious that it's a whole setup? And at first I thought I could put my phone in my pocket. Obviously it's the wrong way round and my pocket is too deep. So that's not going to work. So then I found this little pen that I can just subtly put in my pocket. It looks kind of professional, not out of place in an interview. And that's got a camera in it. So I'm gonna be recording audio on my phone and visuals from this pen. So hopefully that doesn't arouse any suspicion. And so after a very unsustainable three hour commute, I arrived for my interview. Hi, I'm here to see- Harold Harry, yeah. Uh, Harry. Nice to meet you, how are you? Yeah, good thanks, how are you? Why don't you just tell us a bit about yourself? My name is Harold, Harry. As a hobby, I really like magic. People say I'm quite disarming with my charm. Uh, what would you say your main strengths are? People tell me I've got interesting stories to tell. Um, I just wanted to draw attention to some things that we noticed on your CV. Cash management. Uh, it's more in my personal life, not to dampen the spirit, but I lost my parents quite young. Okay, um, But right. they, they left me quite a lot of money, sort of the cash management of of my trust fund, if you will. Do you have any questions for us? I don't want to sound dramatic, but I, negative things often find their way to me. So just sort of okay. wondering about like the biggest tribulations you might come across on a sort of day-to-day -day basis here. And I mean, one thing that we have to deal with here is bereavement. Mm -hmm. So people that have like lost a loved one, and yeah. kind of help them through that journey. Mm -hmm. I've lost um, a lot of those. Okay. Um, you know, you have got some great experiences anyway within here. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, it's been good meeting you. Um, yeah, no, thank you. No, I, I appreciate it. I, I feel like, I don't know if you guys have ever read Harry Potter, but you, you remember in the first book, he's, he's never played that sport before. And they yeah. still, they put him in and he's like the best player on their team. I didn't get the job. 